Hello, thanks for joining us today for another video guide. In this video, we're going to look at how to utilize the set default frame origin tool within the wall and framing customization menu. This tool is used to set the default frame origin. The origin is the point from which the steel framing of the build is orientated from, so any adjustments to the origin point will affect the framing layout. You can use the default frame origin adjustment to facilitate the positioning of the framing for walls, floors, ceilings and roofs. This improves framing and build accuracy, framing alignment between the walls and floor panels and reduces the chance of design errors. Utilize the set default frame origin tool at the start of your modeling process. Once you have loaded in your reference drawing or have an existing architectural model, you can set up your default frame origin. To do this, you want to choose the modeling tab in the top navigation menu and then in the sub menu select the wall drop down. Once you've selected the wall menu, you then want to select set default frame origin towards the bottom of the list. Firstly, you want to select your origin location. In relation to my reference drawing, that is the bottom left point of my model. You then want to set your range limits which is done via outlining your model's area to create the limit to not exceed beyond and once done select OK. You then want to select your base origin location again and set the point location and direction of framing as shown. Once complete you can then proceed to modeling your build with your default origin location set and limit in place. Thank you for watching, stay tuned for more helpful guides on how to get the best out of your Vertex BD software.